I brought the doctor from Brightport as fast as I could. Doc, please see to Gareth. This looks bad. Very bad. It looks like the exact same wound Garth himself described that Brenton lad had. Uh, only this time, I don't have any more citrus herbs to administer to Garth to slow down the bleeding. It pains me to say that it'll only be a matter of time before he passes. This can't happen. Not to Garth. Doc, is there anything we can do? Hmm. This is unorthodox of me to imply, but the Lord of Brightport is skilled in the art of healing magic. However, he's been missing for more than a week now. The guards have no idea what's happened to him, as far as I know. But if there was any hope of us saving Garth, it would be through the healing magics of the Lord of Brightport. Then that's where I need to go next. I have no doubt in my mind that Garth would do the same for any people in this village. Be careful. Things around there have been hectic as of late. A tribe of local werewolves have been spotted around the village, and the possibility of war between the tribe and town is on the rise. With the Lord out of town, I don't know what future Brightport holds. <sighs> Thanks for the info, Doc. Please excuse me. I... I need a moment to myself. Hey guys, Jess here, and welcome to Minecraft Diaries. So, today there's a lot going on, obviously. Um, Gareth here has, uh, has really been hurt. And really, I don't understand what's going on exactly. Um, all I know is that Gareth and Xenix left, and now it's just Gareth and Xenix is nowhere to be found. So, um, and it's actually getting dark here. So, um, let's see exactly if anyone has anything to say aside from i mean what's already been said so doctor what um i'll keep him in the best health i possibly can okay all right we, we can do that um he's breathing heavy and troublesome dale what do you have to make of all this afmau i know garth told me not to let you venture outside of town but i'm going to disobey orders from him i ask of you head to brightport and find the lord yeah take care of the village while i'm gone um you don't have to worry about a thing. I'll take care of everyone. I assume you're going to be leaving Thorgy here, so I'll have him to help me take care of the town, too. Safe travels, Aphmau, and please, come back alive. I'm so worried about Xenix right now, but we don't have the manpower to send out a full patrol, so I sent out one guard on the village perimeter to keep an eye out should he return. Okay, well that makes me feel a little bit better, at least. Um, I mean, we, yeah, we, we, I have to focus on Garth right now. Xenix, Xenix is not on... I mean, he's a priority, don't get me wrong, it's just, we gotta worry about Garth right now, we're losing him fast. Um, Brendan is really beating himself up over this. I keep telling him it's not his fault, but it's no use. He won't even talk about what happened to him. Don't get me wrong, but I have a weird feeling about all of this. Xenex has nowhere to be seen, and he was the last person with Brendan when he got shot, and now Garth? This makes me feel uneasy. Actually, what are you implying? Look, all I know is my brother was on the brink of death. I'm all about peace and love, but I'm also about justice. Xenix is missing, and he's our only witness to these crimes. If we don't find him, we don't know who to look for to bring to justice. But let's focus on Garth right now. I'm sure Xenix can take care of himself. Now, there's something I have to tell you about werewolves. Yeah, what about werewolves, actually? Um, oh my god, she has so much to say! Uh, yes, werewolves! Since Brightport has seen a few of them, I figured... Knowing more about werewolves would be in your best interest. First off, not all lupines are bad. Lupines, is that actually a word? Okay, whatever. Uh, in fact, I met one once before a long time ago. However, there are some who cannot control themselves once they become bitten, and they are completely aggressive even if you try to talk to them. If this happens, try not to hurt them. I don't like that kind of stuff, but... But if you must protect yourself, the best weapon to use is a golden sword or a silver skeleton sword. Just don't hurt too many of them, please. Um... I'll try to... yeah, but if I have no choice... I... I understand. Oh, one more thing. Take the doll inside the chest. It's possible you might find it useful, I hope. I don't know if it will help, but it helped me once. Just be safe. Let's get Garth in good health. Okay, yeah, that's... that's a smart... Thorgy, are you gonna help here take care of Garth, please? That would be great. That would be wonderful. Alright, Brendan. Everyone has so much to say today! <laughs> well, I don't blame them, but still! 
I'm so thankful to Garth for everything he has done for me. But now I feel terrible. The medicine used on him, on, on me, should have been used on him. Should have been used on him. I don't do as much for everyone as he does. Even with the old lord, even when the old lord left us, he stepped in and made sure everyone was okay. He shouldn't have saved me. Oh, Brendan, you shouldn't beat yourself up over this. It's not your fault. He was trying to help you, and how did you know that he was gonna get hurt? It doesn't make sense. Okay, um, oh, there's a stuffed bunny in here. Look at that. It's so cute. It's so tiny. I guess she wants me to take... Well, I don't know how a stuffed bunny's gonna freak out. I mean, I could give it to Thorgy. Thorgy probably would like it, but, uh, yeah, I'll take the stuff. All right, I'll take the stupid stuffed bunny. And uh, it's not stupid. It's really cute. It's just, like, stupidly cute. That's That's exactly what I'm trying to say. All right, so let's, uh, oh, crap, what was that? Is that a guard or, okay, just because there's been, like, a huge increase of mobs, you know, around the Babe House area. In fact, I haven't been to Babe House in a lot. Meowki, what are you doing outside? Get, Meowki, too, get back inside. Come on, it's, it's ridiculous for you to be, it's ridiculous for you to be, Meowki, 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 Meowki. Come on, I gotta, I gotta go save Gareth. I can't have you running around everywhere while I'm trying to save Gareth right now. Okay, you, you you just stand right there. You just you stay right there. Oh my god <laughs> How could you smile at a time like that a freaking creeper was just about to blow us to smithereens Oh my god get it. Okay. Is there is there a creeper in here because oh my gosh Meowki what happened? Why are you do this to me? Why are you so difficult? Okay, all right, you can stay outside. You can be an outside cat if you want to. I'm just saying that I have food here for you. And if you want it, you can have it. But if you don't, oh well, Star Fox will eat it. And I'll find a turkey to tame you, Star Fox. But, okay, so let's prep to go to Brightport. Um, I'm gonna go to sleep here. I, I like how Meowki's hungry, even, the fa even though I, like, put food down for him just now. Uh, I'm a little distraught over all this stuff that's happening. I'm gonna leave out the back door because that seems like the smart thing to do. Um, so yeah, I just went to Brightport just to kind of pick up the doctor to make sure that he came back. Meowki, okay, you can stay outside. I don't care anymore. Just do what you want to do. Just eat food. Make sure you eat. Um, ooh, what is that? Ooh, ooh crap! So Woo! Oh, did you drop the silver skeleton sword? Oh, no, you didn't. Okay. All right, so let's prepare a little bit to, um, head over to Brightport. So first things first, um... Meowki's his own man, I guess. Uh, Mian. You know, Mian. Like a Mian cat. Um, okay, so he can be his own man. I'm gonna go and... Okay, so what I need. I need food. Let's cook some fish. Um, I already have some fish cooked here. I need lots of food. If I'm gonna stay in Brightport for a little bit to try to find this lord, I gotta make sure I'm ready. I'm gonna take the pet amulet just in case. Um, let's see. Because I could store pets in there. Uh, I'm gonna leave the raw chicken here. Um, let's see. Uh, what else do we need? Um, what else can I get? Uh, okay, I have... I, I need my gold sword. A gold sword is what Kiki said I should use. I have my stuffed bunny. Um, I don't need to make any more babies, uh, right now for the village. We have plenty of people. We have a huge boom. I am actually going to invest in making... Uh, no, that's not exactly what I wanted to make, even though my subconscious is telling me that. A diamond helmet. Because why not? I, I I look, I just look so much more regal like this. I look just, I look fabulous. Um, alright, so let's put this in the tools, uh, right there with our other stuff, just in case something happens and we die, we can come back here and be okay for a little bit. Um, I'm also gonna make a bed, because, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather have a bed just to, just to have one. You know, we, we never know if we're gonna need one. There we go. Okay, alright, and I'm taking my iron with me, and I'll take the buckets just in case, why not? Um, and, you know what, I'll, I'll take the potatoes too. I could use more food. You can never go wrong with more food. Okay, so we're ready to travel to Brightport. Let's just go make sure that we, um, yes, I have a lot of buckets, I know. Uh, let's just go make sure that we say goodbye to, you know, Logan and Donna, and make sure that they're okay. And Zoe, actually we could go buy some fairy lights for Brightport and make it a little bit brighter, if you know what I mean. So... Let's do that really quick. Uh, man, there's so many people in the village. Look at that. All right. Um, and let's harvest these two. That way we can come back to some more crops. I'm sorry. I just have to tend to so many things whenever I start an episode. Um, I know last episode I said I was going to build something crazy, but with all the events going on, I can't really do much right now. I mean, I have to focus on the matter at hand, which is, of course, Garoth. So let's see. Donna, what's up? Um, Logan is just upset right now. I swear he's not a bad guy once you- What? Wait, 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 what? 
So now this Gareth fellow is down. What next? I swear um, it's almost as if I was set up for failure here. Now I've been waiting here patiently and losing mo money on other villages that could prove more of a profit because some of some lord who can't keep her village together. I swear I'm out of here. Good day, man. What a jerk! What are you talking about, Donna? What, what, see, Logan is just upset right now. I swear he's not a bad guy once you get to know him. He's actually really helpful and his goods are well good. Uh, okay. What kind of goods are we talking about here, Donna? Afmal, this isn't the time for thinking that way. I mean, he could be useful later on. I've already checked and no, he doesn't have any of the citrus herb or I would have rushed it over to Gareth. Don't you worry about Logan. I'll make sure he stays here in the village. Go find help for Gareth. Okay, I can do that. Uh, Zoe, what's going on here? I'm sorry, there's so much going on right now in the village. I'm not going to sell anything today. Come back tomorrow. Okay, alright, I can do that. Okay, alright, I'm ready to do this. Um, let's just make sure Thorgy's okay before we head out. I just want to make sure he's fine. Uh, chickens, chicken massacre going on right here. There we go. Uh, now I have lots of raw chickens. Let's go feed Thorgy, make sure that everyone's okay. And, uh... Go find the Lord of Brightport. And we have to find him soon. Like, I don't know how long Garth is going to, to to last. I mean, I know Brendan... Garth's a tough cookie, though. I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. Hopefully. Uh, he, Thorgy's fine, too. Okay, all right. Everyone's fine. I mean, not Garth, but it's not fine, but you know what I mean. Okay, let's head on over to Brightport and see exactly uh, what we can do, what we can find. Um, I'm actually excited. I haven't been to Brightport in a little while. I haven't been allowed to leave the village, really. And uh, that's been a little disappointing, but... Now I can go. Let's go on our adventure! Woo! I mean, to save Garth. That's what we're going to do. Not not an adventure for fun. It's not a fun adventure. We're just going to try and save him. Okay. Going out today. I, I really want to know what happened to my... Well, the boat still works, so I don't have to worry about that. But let's get over to Brightport. Oh, God. Oh, God. Coming in for all the scorpions. I see them. I saw them loading in. It was. This is terrible. What is going- where- am I at the right place? Oh crap, I- I made a wrong turn at Al Albuquerque. And there's some kitty cats! <gasps> okay, no, 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 no. I've had heartbreak way too much. I- I can't deal with- with more heartbreak of skeletons brutally murdering- murdering my- my kitty cat. So, we're not gonna worry about that today. Let's just get off here, because I'm gonna crash my boat. See, I crashed the boat. Alright, I really need to learn how to dock boats. I- I'm terrible at this. Alright, let's get up here and try to find the Lord of Brightport. Maybe he'll just, like, appear right in front of me. Hey! Oh, that's that chick from last time. God dang it. What's going on? Oh, hello, you must be Gareth's friend. What can I do for you today? Uh, let's tell her about Gareth. What? That's terrible! Not Gareth! He and I were friends when we were kids. This is horrible! Unfortunately, I can't do anything to help. We're all out of imported goods since our Lord has vanished. No one wants to do business with a village without a Lord. Um, that's why I'm here, to help find him. Our lord is very skilled in the talents of healing magics. Very well. The only lead I have so far comes from Merida. I think you might have met her once. She's Vicious' wife. I would... Oh, crap. I would go see if you can come up with anything. Right now, I have all my guards out looking for the lord as time passes. Each guard starts to lose their memory. Not only that, but the lupine... The lupine? Is that what they call them? Are now starting to are, are now starting to be seen lurking around the village at night. Things are getting out of hand, and I have no idea where to begin. Okay, uh, the village of all right, the village of Brightport. We're we're pretty good at this. So let's see. Um, Merida, I know where she is. I know where. I I thought her name was Richard's wife. It was above her. You know. Okay, her name's Merida now. All right, cool. Well, I I can deal with this. Uh, good evening, Athma. I trust you have taken care of the person who killed my husband. <laughs> Oh god, uh, lion say you have to tell the truth, you haven't. Uh, she's gonna find out. Stay always find out! Tell her the truth, I haven't. Oh, I see. Um, so about that missing lord. Why should I tell you anything? You come to me without any leads as to who murdered my husband, yet you expect me to help you? I'm sorry, please leave. Oh my gosh, but this is kind of important! You got a whole bunch of guards losing their memory and all this kind of- Ooh, John, hello. Um... Miss, I heard you talking to my mommy. You're looking for the Lord, right? I I can help you, but I need you to help me first. I have a friend who is in trouble, but none of the adults here will listen to me, or I don't think they'll even help me if I told them who it was. Uh, well, he's he he's offering to help us, so let's help him. 
My friend is being held at the hunter's cabin. He's locked up in the cellar below. Please help him outside of town. Don't show him to any of the adults. They'll just lock him up again. Please. Really? Oh, oh, crap. What? They have a friend? Oh, Kevin? Kevin, where's, where's his friend? Have you seen any emerald well my Okay, Kevin, whatever. You're just a terrible person. Try oh, wait. Actually, I, sh I shouldn't... I shouldn't tell them anything, should- Yeah, that's right. I'm a terrible, terrible blabbermouth. Alright, so let's see if we can find, um... No, no one in here. There's- There's like- There's like a bunch of different stuff going- There's so many people who look like other people who are people of people and I just- I don't know what's going on. Okay, uh... Try to find this kid's friend. If we could find him. Uh... Oh, that- That's a- What was that? That was a horse. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. What are you doing? What are you even doing in there? What is- Oh, let's see. It looks like the hunter has passed out from drinking. It might be best to be quiet. Well, there's a freaking guy that just walked into the house! There's this freaking beer here, too! I don't even understand what's going on anymore! Oh, what are you- <gasps> Ray the priest- Hey, you see that dog over there? Really? I hadn't heard. Oh, you hadn't heard. You have seen him. He's right there. Oh, it's a wolf child. Oh, okay. How do I get him out? There's no... There's no... Ray, you're just getting in the way. This one's Ray. Okay, all right. Um... All right, so I don't know how... To, okay, well, I know how to open this door. We need to get a, le a lever or a button or something to just... Um... Let's take Ray out of here because Ray is just... Uh, he can't see me take this kid. I mean, I'm gonna see the wolf child. Um... Okay, so... What I could do is if I make this, I need some stone. I need uh, some pretty good stone here. Let's see. Um, see, I didn't bring up of all things. I didn't bring a pickaxe. Are you kidding me? Wow, so unprepared. Much wow. Just seriously, wow. I that's just no. I'm not getting anyone married right now. I've done that way too much. Okay, all right. Pickaxe. Um, let's take our crafting bench. Just so I can keep it on me. Uh, and let's, um, let's try to get some, some stuff. Some, just, you know. There we go, we just need one. And there. Bam. Lever. Awesome. Okay. Let's go and, uh, and grab. See if we can get inside of there without waking this guy up. Alright, there we go. Shh. Okay, alright. Uh, puts down. Okay, all right. Hello. Who, who are you? Oh, he's opening his mouth. What do you want? Please don't hurt me. Uh, shriek and horror. Don't worry, I'm here to help. I'm here to help you. you. You will. Thank you. Thank you so much. I just want to see my mommy. He's crying. Aw, okay. All right. Here, um, I'll put you in the lasso, okay? Okay, got him in the lasso. So let's, let's see if we can take him back to John. John said that he would help us if... Oh, crap. John said that he would help us if- and I was actually very, very not quiet there. Uh, there's so many- oh my gosh, this village has so many people in it. I swear- ooh, what's going on up there? Okay, nothing. Um, alright, so let's go see if we can talk to John now that we- we got this. You got him! This is wonderful! We'll wait until night for his parents to come. Keep him safe with you, but don't show him to anyone. His parents show up outside of town. Come get me at night and I'll tell you more. This means so much to me. We've known each other for a very long time. I didn't want my friend to end up on a plaque. Oh, okay, alright, um... Wow, alright, there's a lot going on. It's actually nighttime right now. So, um, alrighty guys. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna find shelter here. I don't think that right now is actually a good time to, to talk to John. Um, a lot is going on here, and we gotta get into a secluded place before we try to find his parents. So anyway, guys! Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Minecraft Diaries. We'll try to find this little wolf's cub's parents in the next episode. Maybe John will be able to help me or... I mean, I don't know how this is gonna help me find the Lord, but you know what? I helped someone in the long run and I hopefully will help myself and Gara in the meantime. So, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Minecraft Diaries, guys. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one and until then, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>